Hi friends, this is Mazina. Today we're going to be reading a story. This story is called My Mom's a Firefighter. And it's by Louise and it's illustrated by Jane. Okay, let's get started. My Mom's a Firefighter. My mom is a firefighter. I'm her son. My name is Billy. Mom says she has two families. Dad and me. And Marty, John, Pat, and Captain Mark. They work with her at the Floral Avenue Firehouse. I say I have two families too, mom and dad, and my firehouse uncles, Uncle Marty, Uncle John, Uncle Pat, and Uncle Mark. When I walked to school, I passed a Flora Avenue firehouse. Today is Tuesday. My mom is working. I leave home early to eat snack of Uncle Pat's pancakes. But when I get to the station, no one is in the kitchen. Oh, what do you guys think is going to happen next? Okay, let's find out. They're all busy. There was an early morning fire and the Flora Avenue firefighters were sent out. They're back now, but there's still a lot of them to do. Like hosing down the engine, cleaning the air mask and filling the air bottles, checking the engine's water tank, and washing and rolling the hoses, scrubbing the tools and putting them back in place. I can see this is not going to be a pancake morning, so I climb the stairs to the kitchen, drink some milk, and eat three jelly donuts. I go over to the smooth pole and get ready to slide down. Then suddenly, I remember Uncle Mark teasing me about the time the pole was smooth and sticky. I wipe my hands on my shirt and then I slide down. Not sticky this time, Uncle Mark, I say grinning. Mom walks to the door. Ready for spelling test, Belly, she asked. I nod. Dad went over to the words with me last night and I got them all right. Terrific, says Mom. We hug and I leave. I spell the words to myself as I walk to school, just to be sure. After class, I hurry home and do my homework. Mom is presenting a program on a fire safety tonight at my school. Mom and Dad and I eat supper. Then we all head back to school. Mom begins telling us what to do in case of a fire. I already know. I listen carefully anyway. Get out fast, Mom says. Don't go back for any reason. Call 911 and give them the address. And if your clothing catches fire, don't run. Stop, drop, and roll. The worst dangers in the fire aren't the flames, Mom says, but the heat and breathing in hot, smoky air. Mom puts on an air mask. That's why we wear masks connected to air bottles on our backs, she says. Mom tells us that firefighters are a part of a team. Everyone has to do his or her job. And when we take turns doing everything, Driving the rig, working the hose, mopping the floor, even cooking. When mom's program is over, everyone claps. Then we have punch and cookies. The next day, dad and I are making dinner when the Floral Avenue rig races by. Sirens screaming and red lights flashing. I run to the window, mom's driving. I watch the rig disappear around the corner, I know what my firehouse family will do. When they get to the fire, they'll pull on their air mask and grab the hose and enter the smoky filled building to make sure everyone's out. 
to put out the flames and smash windows and chop holes in the roof to let the poisonous gas and thick smoke escape. But their firefighter job isn't done. Not until they search the building and make sure everything has cooled down and there is no danger of the fire starting again. Then they make, then they can pack their equipment and back onto the rig. Dad's calling from the kitchen. Time to feed, polka dot Billy, he says. <clears throat> but right there, Dad, I say, can't let polka dot go hungry. After Dad and I finish eating and cleaning up the kitchen, we hear the loud honk of the Thoreau Avenue rig heading back to the station. I give my firehouse son the time to clean the rig and the equipment. Then I call. Everything okay, Mom? I ask. Everything's fine now, Billy, Mom says. It was a garage fire that spread to the house before we got there. Have you eaten yet? I ask. Mom laughs. No, she says. Uncle Marty was too busy working the radio and phones at the station that he forgot to put our supper in the oven. How about if I come over and take my turn at cooking? Mom, I go hungry. After Dad and I finish eating and cleaning up the kitchen, we hear the loud honk of the Thoreau Avenue rig heading back to the station. I give my firehouse son the time to clean the rig and the equipment. Then I call. Everything okay, Mom? I ask. Everything's fine now, Billy, Mom says. It was a garage fire that spread to the house before we got there. Have you eaten yet? I ask. Mom laughs. No, she says. Uncle Marty was too busy working the radio and phones at the station that he forgot to put our supper in the oven. How about if I come over and take my turn at cooking, Mom? You and the firehouse uncles can relax. I can make dinner. Sounds great, Billy, Mom says. When I get there, I got to the kitchen. I make some cheese sandwiches and heat up some soup. Mm-mm-mm. I love cheese sandwiches. While Mom and my firehouse uncles are eating, I walk over to Mom's turnout gear and put it on. It's too big for me, but I start rounding anyway. You know what I'm going to be in when I, you know what I'm going to be when I grow up? I asked, snapping the red suspenders, holding my mom's bunker pants. A picture for the Yankees, Uncle Mark says. I shake my head. A race car driver, Uncle John says. I shake my head again. Nope. A firefighter, as I say, snapping mom's red suspenders once more. Just like my mom. How did you like this story, guys? I think this is a really good story about firefighters and how they help everyone in our community. How they put out fires and they teach us fire safety and teach us things that we would need to know. Like, stop, drop, and roll. When you're on fire, you got to stop, drop, and roll. Don't run. Okay?